welcome to the 18th Annual Business Achievement Awards. So as you know, today we are here to recognize several outstanding companies. So help us welcome up the CEO of Amnil Pharmaceuticals, Shintu Patel. It started back in 2002, I was a pharmacist, and I really got tired of my job that prompted the birth of Amnil. So first thing I realized, because I'm in a pharmaceutical industry, quality is number one. So I always made sure, and I learned fast, that I have to make sure, and I personally have to my, get myself fully educated, and I wanted to make sure the medications that American consumers take, that my family, my daughter, my wife, my parents can take at any given time. So that was the foundation and that was the belief that I started preaching and teaching at MNIL. And that, that, that really made the entire MNIL mindset quality-driven, integrity-driven, and honesty-driven. All these words, but as long as you put these words in action and into practice, that's what the differentiate the successful business than the non-successful business. We are very proud to present a special innovation award to the first community hospital in Suffolk, to offer a multi-specialty robotic surgery program. So our innovation award goes to St. Catharines of Siena Medical Center. I just wanted to thank the people uh, for recognizing uh, our hard work. And uh, I also wanted to thank the people that helped bring this robotic program to our community. We are dedicated to continuing to innovate and allow our patients to see the greatest innovations in medicine. Help us welcome up the 2012 Large Business Achievement Award winner, Lou Grassi. Woo! The thing that makes our firm different is really our culture. You see, we don't get caught up in bureaucracy at Grassi. We're free to make decisions, and our people are empowered because at the end of the day, we cannot lose sight of the fact that we have a singular purpose, and our singular purpose is to help our clients succeed, and we're in tune with what's going on in their business. And I always say to every employee, if we are not in tune with what's going on in our client's business, we deserve not to have them. And if you have a culture that recognizes the fact that you put your priorities in order, you will succeed. The recipient of the 2012 Small Business Achievement Award goes to the Kensington Company. So Kensington is all about a team approach. And we honestly believe that together, everyone achieves more. We could not be successful in helping our clients if we did not have an excellent professional team of advisors that we can count on to receive phenomenal advice. Knowing where to turn for expert advice is key to our success and is no small part why our clients find success in their transactions. It's been an amazing ride and experience helping to build the Kensington Company. We feel blessed to wake up, up every morning with the opportunity to help buyers and sellers accomplish their goals of successful transactions. The opportunity to help buyers in career transition, create financial security and quality of life for themselves and their family is an unbelievably rewarding experience. So our next category is our Rookie of the Year Award to New Millennium Technology Services. We do technology support, cloud computing, and business continuity planning, but what really differentiates us is our focus on our clients and our clients' experiences. We, we make sure we, we guide them throughout that entire process. We're there to support them, not just their technology, but to alleviate their fears and really help them to achieve the best results from their technology. We've been really successful with is business continuity planning. Many businesses, when we go into them, we find that they don't have an adequate backup system. They don't have any sort of plan for what happens, God forbid, if you know something bad happens. What we really like to do is sit down with them from the beginning, formulate a strategic plan, and implement systems that will help their business to overcome any sort of disasters that might befall them. The nonprofit award goes to an organization with a strong vision of helping people on Long Island. The recipient of the not-for-profit award goes to the United Way of Long Island.
About 15 years ago, I don't know if some of you remember her, Elena Perez and I went out to lunch. And I told her I wanted to get involved in an organization. I wanted an organization on Long Island that was going to truly make an, a difference. I wanted an organization that was large enough to get things done, but small enough to work with the local business communities and, and help Long Island. And that was the United Way. So many good things can happen when your company and organization and employees connect to community. We help over 125 different programs in this region. So we're really about building some great value in education, health, and financial stability for all across Long Island. Hearing their success stories, you can truly see why they receive this recognition. They are all such great companies. We're lucky to have them here on Long Island. We are truly lucky to have them as part of the HIA ally.